after you prepare your plan, you're going to need to present it to organizational leadership. The biggest point is to realize that an oral presentation is totally different from a written report. And this seems to be difficult for many who want to just read their paper and sound boring. Um, or they try to just summarize their paper or cram as much into the 10 minute time I give you as possible. This isn't what an oral presentation is for. Leave the details out. This is a broad sweeping big picture. This is a sales job. You first need to identify the problem, then you recommend solutions. You need to convince the listeners that they should implement the plan for the good of the organization. Your presentation is to be made as if it was being given to the leadership of your organization. What that means is you can assume their organizational knowledge. You don't have to tell them what kind of an organization this is or any other basic information. This is about a problem and a solution. This is where you bring your passion, your earnestness, as well as your knowledge, because that's what sells things. Tell management why they should buy into your recommendations. You need to also note that the greater detail or the further elaboration is in your report. You're trying to get them to read it. So prepare that eight to 10 minute briefing posted to YouTube and address the management of your organization for which you created your diversity management plan. You may post, you probably want to, post a PowerPoint for the listeners to follow. But the briefing we're talking about must be a visual of you. So look professional. Don't look scruffy. The most important part of public speaking, however, is, and I'll repeat, do not read. To support your presentation, you're probably going to want to utilize PowerPoints. And that's why I included a couple of readings on effective, effectively using PowerPoint. I really like the, the YouTube reference, so make sure you look at that. You, and then you can either upload a PowerPoint file to discussion board so we can follow it as we're watching you. Or if you have the technical skill, you can embed your video in a PowerPoint as I do for these mini lectures. But you can't just show the PowerPoint and talk over it. I want to see you. Ideally, you might have someone else control the camera and not just make this a selfie. The only way to get better at public speaking is to practice. And that's why I always have these speaking requirements in my classes. Practicing is good. Try things out and watch them and work on improving your presentation. Obviously, the main assignments are posting your written and oral presentations. There is an optional discussion board this week where you can just share with each other what you plan to include in your diversity plan or ask each other questions, but it's not mandatory. Don't publish long sections of your paper. It's just sharing your, and asking each other questions. And there's no reflective journal entry this week. Finals week, okay. Your final exam next week, such as it is, requires reading three of your fellow students' plans and watching their oral presentations and then posting a one-page, single-spaced, substantive critique of that presentation to the discussion board. Your grade on this part is a reflection of the quality of your critique, and this is 5% of your course grade. Public managers need to be able to offer constructive critiques or criticism without coming off like you're slamming someone, but also offering real, substantive advice. Saying great job is nice, but it doesn't provide the presenter any way to improve. You also need to be able to receive critiques gracefully. You need to be able to objectively listen and evaluate what is being said without getting all defensive. And this is one of the hardest things for any of us, to receive and provide constructive criticism. They're skills we need to practice, and they're skills a leader must have. Finally, at the end of finals week, you will prepare a final reflective journal entry commenting on your experience with the entire course. As always, this is about thinking and reflecting how this all has applied to you, 
not just reporting or listing. So go to work on your papers and presentations. I look forward to reading and listening to them. Thank you.